it took quite a while, but I finally beat the Elven Beast. It's definitely a journey. What the Elden Beast dropped was some kind of remembrance, the Elden Remembrance. I took that thing down to the round table and turned it into a sword, but not just any sword. This is the Elden Beast's Remembrance Sword, the Sacred Relic. Let's take a look at this, the Sacred Relic Sword. It was so good, I've already bumped it up to plus 10. Spent that ancient dragon somber smithing stone. Took it to the max. All right, the, the, those are the stats for it. There's definitely several interesting things going on with this. I have one holy scorpion talisman on. That's pretty much it. 60 faith. Comes down here and just decimates the entire area. And now I'm going to call this rune farming. So that is definitely a tool for rune farming. I thought, well... That wasn't doing too bad over there. It had some long range. Let's see how it does against some bosses. Surprisingly enough, there were a couple bosses that I did not find before the Elden Beast, even though I thought I found everything in the game. No, not so. Look at that. It does some serious damage on that guy. Zing! Takes off about, I don't know, 20, 25% of their health. I was discovering a couple other areas. I immediately got attacked by a room full of ants, and I decided, well, let's check this thing out, and it does. It's a room clearing machine. Look at all that loot popping up. All right, this is working pretty good. So far, I'm liking this weapon, this sword. that out. Doing the damage. This room just doesn't clear out. There's so many ants in there. I see this being a major problem for a lot of players. Especially just melee builds hacking away at the ants, but this thing makes it easy. Clear out entire sections in one swing of the L2. Tested on it. Another boss or two. And the results were quite surprising. <coughs> Against Demi Human Queen. I'm gonna try that Elden Beast of or the Elden Stars in combination. I pretty much finished that one off. So I'm telling you, this sword is pretty good. What I found most interesting, and I'm just going to run this high speed, you can maybe see this is just knocking the triple Crystallium guys, magic users, straight to the ground. Keep knocking them down and knocking them down. Maybe with this sword I can do one of those no hit runs. <laughs> Doubt it. Just kidding. And that is the Sacred Relic Sword at work. I will give it a very good rating. Pick it up if you can. If you're faith build, it's not bad. I'm test against Godfrey the Grafted. Does some damage on this guy too. So I'm going to take this into NG+. Plus. See how it goes. Right, that's the rudimentary review of the Sacred Relic Sword. See you in the next video. Have a great day.